3D printing, more traditionally known as additive manufacturing, is a new technology that we've all been hearing a great deal about recently, as every week people are coming up with new uses for the technology, from healthcare, to product design, to even aerospace. And everyone's getting really excited about 3D printing also fast coming to the consumer space, and that's why we decided to review the Robox 3D printer by UK firm CEL, which has just come out of Kickstarter. I need to start off by saying that 3D printing is not really designed for consumers, so it can be rather tricky to play with and requires a lot of patience. First off, in order to design objects to print out, you will need to use 3D modelling software, but if you don't have that, you can still download 3D printer files for free from online repositories like Thingiverse or My Mini Factory. You then need to lay out the item you've chosen in the Robox software and then wait for the machine to print it out. This sounds simple enough, but in reality, 3D printers in general can't print out just about anything. It all depends on how the object has been constructed, and you also need to calculate how big you want the item to come out, or you end up with varying results. CEL told us that we'd have more success 3D printing our items with a flat base or at least one side that could be laid flat on the printer bed. If the object didn't have a flat base, any side that was placed on the printer bed would come out with half-melted plastic like these elephants. So we looked into printing our items that either had no overhanging parts, had a flat base or were block-like in nature. The Robox is clearly a very well-designed machine and it has the ability to print at several different qualities, from draft to normal to fine. The lowest quality, draft, prints the fastest, but all three levels produce incredibly beautiful prints with very small layers that are barely perceptible. The downside is that the 3D printer will sometimes run into errors during a print and the software and user manual is not currently equipped to adequately explain how to fix the problem when something goes wrong. 3D printing is definitely not quite ready for consumers. It is a really fun but extremely expensive niche hobby and although it can be rewarding, you're going to need to have a lot of time, patience and preferably advanced programming skills so that you're able to calibrate the printer past its problems in order to get the best out of it. The CEL Robox 3D printer retails online for £999.90. So that was the Robox 3D printer. For more technology news and reviews, log on to ibtimes.co.uk forward slash technology.